Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. keys to the old house. Then, I'm gonna drive to Fireweed and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. And with that, hello you beautiful people and welcome to new Let's Play. This time a little bit, I think, of a more quiet game called Tell Me Why. So, I don't know too, too as usual, don't know too, too much about the game. It is, I think, in the direction of life is strange, I hope, but I cannot tell you a hundred percent. So we are gonna take a look around. I should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want, but it makes me happy just to look at the box. Okay, nothing there. We need keys, right? No. In my desk drawer, maybe? Richard Brown as console to reconsider budget. Okay, very, very boring. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Yep, then we don't do that. I want to take a quick look. Sorry, but I think... No. 
in my desk drawer, maybe? This game's gonna be having a lot of looking around, you guys. It's so crazy to see him after all these years. And I hope we find out why we've got or they have been Michael separated. Michael are so gonna hit it off. Good. Okay, she already said we should take a look at the drawer. And she's married? Oh, come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. Or maybe she is not. Okay, let's leave. Close it. Here, the key is not. I haven't practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. I could look at this artwork all day. Not the prettiest of my creations, but she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. <laughs> you think so? Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. I figure too. I don't really have time to dig through this right now. So we... Why would it be in here? I have seen that we or he is living in Alaska, right? One more season. What am I even going to do with myself when it's over? Get invested in the lives of real people? Yeah, maybe. Never bad, right? Oh, right. I stashed them down here. So you hope. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. And I thought we were looking for a key to the house. Yeah, there we are. Great. I think I'm ready to go now. Yeah, but I will oh. take the time. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. To take a quick look around. I have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd want to go. Nightwatch Alaska. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. Eh, maybe. Okay, that means... Do I need to finish the to-do list off? House keys, we have them, right? Car keys, house keys, at least some keys we have. Right. I think I'm ready to go now. Don't you finish your... Don't you want to do... I was thinking, or I would at least finish the to-do list. But I am a totally different character, right? Uh, Allie, she's going to be so awkward. Okay, and we obviously gonna play both of them characters, right? Dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter. Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years of swank, Jewies, more like letter territory, whatever. You'll thank me when we are 90 and the machine have taken and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candle light. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your Mentees, I've been there. I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can safely snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the um, Wexies let me take the day off, so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. No, you have not. Laugh, Alison. 
That's of all a nice letter, Can't right? I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. Okay, but we will take a look around. <sighs> Bombed, I have to leave this behind. But the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need been listening to this on a loop lately. Okay, I don't know if that music really exists. I would like to listen to it. Man, he's going places. Fire I'll weed be able to say I helped him on his way. Center. Shit, hmm. I gotta do. Is there any way I can? Nah, that's someone else's problem now. Tot um, t torturing. Oh my god. Tutoring. Help Paris with college admission essay by end of week. Call Dr. Beck. Re counseling session with Jeremy. Meet Aaron. Gardening broken setup misc. Finish paperwork for escape W2 and letter November 2. Something for Allison. So let's hope we have the something for Allison. Maybe the goblin. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. I know most of these by heart at this point. The transgender man's guide to healthy masculinity. Okay. Whatever healthy masculinity is. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Okay, we have the second goblin. That's great. You collectible? <sighs> Cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Yeah. Bye, Herbert. Aww. He gave his flower. Man, I'm gonna miss that view. A bloody name. Celebrate, educate, unite. Transmissibility march on Juno. March. Okay, anyways, doesn't matter. You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. Not no. that that doesn't matter at all. I need to all. get my application ready for next summer. Take me this box of junk. Treasure is now yours. By the first law of finders keepers. Alright, that's empty. Hey Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but just want to say you've been the best counselor on at risk yet redeemable youth. Haha, <laughs> could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside Fire Read, survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. That means, after we've taken a look here. Uh. Gonna miss these dum dums. Hmm. Eh, uh, I don't know. And that means we can leave, right? It was such a cute dog. Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. 
One of my mentees designed it. That's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Hmm. I think... No! Hmm. The sweet taste of overcooked halibut. But seriously, yeah, it was home. For a while, you know? Oh. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm also really happy to never eat that halibut again. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. To be honest, I wanted to take people. That's what I really wanted to um, to pick. But I guess it was all the both of them sarcastic. So anyway, I got to find out how to. There was a mouse button that was for selecting, but I wasn't able to scroll through. But. I think no, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. Oh, I can look around, although... What about you? No. Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. And it looks beautiful, this game. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Left shift. Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean, having cable and full-time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse?
Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. I'm always not certain when I can reply and when not. So taking a look... So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Okay, sure. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Obviously not visit. Oh, well, 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 we don't know that, but... Not visiting, obviously, each other very often, since they haven't seen each other in 10 years. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift from Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't... And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture and what it means to refuse one. Yeah, we are gonna accept it. I wanna play good, right? I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. You know, you could call him Eddie, or even Uncle. <laughs> Hard pass. Oh boy. Did you hear that? Okay, I guess it's a bear. I thought it was um a whale or something fishy like right. I thought it was a bear. Whoa. There's no place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. But, you guys, that is a very good point to end it for today. And you know it. I, we are going to explore the boat. 
in the next episode. Mm, we are gonna be, I think, going into a more emotional game, which I think I haven't brought too, too often to this channel, which is good for change. And um, I don't know if the transgender topic is gonna be predominant, but that's actually a good topic too, I think. Um, so, as I said, I, I think, I mean, it's in the middle of June, right? I bought this game in sale on, on the Steam winter sale or Christmas sale. So I finally wanted to um, bring it to the channel, but I don't know too, too much. I like the feeling. It, for me, has a little bit of Life is Strange feeling. So uh, let's see how it's going to go on. Right, you guys? For now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.